feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign Welcome back to FAQ The Madness. We respectfully exercise our First Amendment right to publish interactions with government officials through the unbiased view of a camera. Let's jump into another ref. Recording. What is up, everybody? This is Craig. I am Fact the Madness. And I just recently discovered that there is a little bit more footage about the Carolina Fort Worth video, um, possible excessive force, use of ex excessive, fo excessive force. And um, clearly, there's probably not enough evidence or footage out there to make any definitive. Uh, decisions as to what has occurred and like uh, many people are saying including um, the investigations that are going forward that there's just there needs to be an investigation simple as that um, I will reserve judgment obviously until all of the information it has come back but early indications as far as I'm concerned is that at a minimum there likely was no need for this officer to do what it is that he has done. Um, and I'm glad, as I indicated in one of my previous videos, I put the link in the descriptions, that there were business uh, entities around the area where they were. It wasn't very too hard to try to figure out where this exactly occurred. Uh, I just went to Google Maps and I kind of matched up the images. And there are businesses all along that little corridor that is there. So there is likely plenty of angles that will be seen. Hopefully when it's all said and done and investigation is done, we will be able to see the uh, body cam footage. Um, I don't know what the laws are in Fort Worth, but it's, uh, hopefully it's not anything like it is here in North Carolina where body worn camera footage is not public records. There are images coming out from the body worn camera footages uh, footage. I think this particular one is axon number three from the officer who committed the alleged crime um, or possible crime. Um, but as it stands, we do have some footage and Fort Worth uh, PD has likely decided that they will go ahead and get in front of it and, and uh, put footage out there. Let us see it. So I think I'm going to spend some time and figure out, uh, how uh, the laws in Texas are and see if, uh, you know, I can glean some information as to how the laws are with regards to body work camera footage. So without further ado, I'm going to play what it is uh, uh, that they have. It's two minutes and two seconds long. I think that I'll just go ahead and let it play. And then if I have anything to add, I'll do so at the end. Caroline, we're busy. Go to the other side of the street. You can go. There's no go. investigation. There's no nothing. You can go to the other side of the street. We're going to get arrested. I'm not warning you again. What are you talking about? Go to the other side of the street why? right now. Wait, tell me why first. We're doing it. You're under arrest. Turn around. Oh. Okay. Stop. 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 Stop.
stop resisting. She's bleeding. Wow. I mean, I, I, I'm shaking my head. Um, I, I'm shaking my head for a number of reasons where I, I think far too often the discretion that officers have in order to make life-changing decisions I think is clearly taken for granted uh, and more often than not, it seems that the officers are doing the wrong thing with their ability to make decisions because life is possibly on the line. They have a, a, an extreme level, heightened level of responsibility because they have to be aware of the law, interpret the law on some level, and make decisions based on what individuals are doing that can be perceived to be lawful or not. And with a gun in hand to boot. Now, I have it paused on this frame right here. Not going to go back and, and go frame by frame with all the other things. I think there's going to be plenty of people who do that. Um, but look how much space there is between this young lady, Carolina Fort Worth or Fort Worth, Carolina, whichever it is, and these officers right here. And if you can recall, uh, I will put, again, the link of this video and maybe um, other instances of videos that are out there. Um, she says, ladies, ladies, ask, ask a question. There seems to be plenty of space between her and the officers initially. And she verbalizes her presence there. So it's not as if that they couldn't be aware that she, that she was there. And the officer that is here, I think his name is Kruger, uh, is also witnesseth that she is there and can either um, alert his officers on the radio, for example, verbally, whatever, but he decides that he's going to address this person, tell her that she needs to depart from the area, go across the street for whatever reason, for why the investigation is over what? A car that needs to be towed? Who knows what the investigation is? You know, so I think there is power in our ability to seek public records. So I have some personal questions that I would like to ask. What is actually going on with these officers? There's, there are, there's this car, the two officers. I see two other vehicles here. Uh, I see an individual here. Uh, there's surely to be some uh, radio chatter that we can look into, figure out what call was made, what was she investigating, where could she be, where should she be, is she okay where she is, all those kind of things. I do not feel that the action that he took or the action that she took warranted the level of action that he took. That is to put her on the ground, injure her. Why put her put his hands on her anyway? What crime was she committing? She certainly did not have enough time to comply with his request, lawful or not. And I am of the opinion uh, that at the end of the day, instead of being in jail, being killed, being injured, those kind of things, you may need to reserve not responding to the officer and then dealing with things in a court of law just for the sake of not having to worry about what has occurred here far too often we as black people uh there'll be there'll be plenty of people that 
talk about the talk. We have the talk with our children, our young men, our young women, because of the things that we have experienced over years. That is not to say that we need to be victims to uh, to any interaction with, with law, LEOs, but that we need to be aware that not everybody is going to give you the benefit of the doubt, particularly if you're being foolish with the words that come out of your mouth. So discretion is key on some level, but that doesn't mean that you have to sit and wait and not do anything for many years, many generations, which is why all of the things that have occurred over time through the laws that exist to make change. And sometimes filming, asking questions respectfully are key. So. That's my take on this all. Um, there's, I think I noticed a couple of people that are out there. This video apparently just came out recently. I'm going to be looking forward to some more angles, to some more understanding as to what is going on at this time of night. Um, what did she hear, for example, over the radio to bring her here to this point? Maybe she was at the club. Who knows? I don't know. But uh, I think that those questions should be asked and answered. Um, and we do those kind of things. We try to do those kind of things on my channel. Uh, you know, it's in it's in the name. FAQ. Frequently asked questions. We ask the questions. As it stands, I know there's a lot of size that, that exists on this uh, on this issue on what occurred. But as far as I'm concerned, whether you be on the left or the right. Uh, and as far as I'm concerned, all I ask is that you meet me here somewhere in the middle. And that is a fact. My name is Craig. I am Fact of Madness. Um, until the next time, guys, you guys have a good one. Peace. Thank you for watching. If you have a video you'd like for us to cover, use the submit link in the description or pinned comment. If you enjoyed this one, consider subscribing and hit the bell to be notified of future content. Be sure to check out all of the other content we have for your edutainment. We will continue to respectfully exercise our First Amendment rights and publish the interactions we have with government officials. Remember to like, share, and leave a comment. It's the easiest way for you to let us know your thoughts about our channel. I want to be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement. The top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Getting my way and to be put down. It ain't your place. All this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The noose if it's some loose shit. A stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift. Oh.